Hey everybody, tonight's show is in the little hamlet of Felton, California, a beautiful mountain town in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I'm playing a place I've played quite a few times over the years. It's called Don Quixote's. Got some friends in the house I haven't seen in ages. That's nice. I like this place. I've been traveling here for years. That's pretty awesome. It's also got this beautiful piano. It's an old piano, it was probably built in the 1800s. Maybe in the early 1900s. This is it. I got in an accident with Guinness last night. I was taking him off and uh, he gave me a little bit of a black eye. So just wanted to explain why it looks like I'm a little funky here. Um, just part of the risk of being on the road. You never know when your guitar wants to fight back. Hey guys, I'm in Santa Cruz today at my friend Deborah's place. She's putting me up here, on, which is great. She has this little cabin uh, that's right behind me here, as you can see. And uh, that's where I crash when I'm in Santa Cruz or near San Francisco. We're going to go for a little bike ride around Santa Cruz today and take you along for the ride, show you some sights and some of the people that I, I see when I'm here in town. Hope you come along. Let's play in the water. See down there? Santa Cruz. First stop, Thomas Musical Instruments. It's pretty awesome in here. Check this out. Can you do lessons in the back? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's really cool. I'm at Thomas Music in Santa Cruz. Groovy place. No fretted instruments, but awesome brass and woodwinds. My next stop on the bike tour is the Santa Cruz Mountain Vineyard Winery. Uh, there's about nine little uh, wineries right here in Santa Cruz within walking distance. I'm about to taste uh, the Santa Cruz Mountain Vineyards uh, Cabernet, right? That's what they're actually here. 2013. I have to be careful with a nose like this because I might pass out if I over sniff. really shows the mini microclimates of the Santa Cruz Mountains because this one ripens almost a month later than the other one. Oh, it's it's got a com completely different character. Um, that first one you had is um, more modern Dijon clones. This is now what's being called a heritage clone of Pinot. Uh, it's Pramard clones, so it's a little more, a little more old world. My nose is too big to fit in this class. No, you, can you need like... Well, just don't stick it all the way in there. <laughs> and actually, a lot of the aroma action is, you know, sort of on top. If you smell as you go down through the glass, you get different things at different layers. Sometimes um, at the wine bar, I'll do a mystery flight. I'll spend the first, you know, 15 minutes smelling all the wines oh, yeah. repeatedly. 
Yeah. And I'll start making my guesses before I've even had a sip. Yep. Of and that's smart because as soon as you start drinking, I think you dampen the aroma sensitivity a little bit. Deb's on the wine tasting uh, witness protection program. <laughs> that's why you can't see details of her face because she's in yeah. silhouette. Nobody gets to know who, what I really look like. But she, uh, she's the owner and operator of Vino Locale, which is a great wine bar in uh, Palo Alto, California. And a uh, great place for wine and good food. And Jeff has been working in this with this vineyard and winery for 35 years? 38 years. 38 years, wow. Came to it as a 19-year-old, the bottle one day, and I never left. That's amazing. Seems to be what I'm doing if I um, How important his palate is to the overall production of the wine. Like, how many times he actually has to taste the process along the chain of links in, in the process of going from a grape to the final bottling process. Like how many, how many times are well, you we actually... Start, we start in the vineyard. Mm -hmm. I make all my decisions I'm picking by taste in the vineyard. A so lot of, a lot of wine, a wine makers aren't. So I'm picking handfuls of grapes in kind of a random sample of the vineyard, smushing that off and tasting that juice. Because right. I want to, uh, to simulate picking that vineyard that day and see what it would taste like. Right. So, that's the, so that's the first time. that's the first time. And then when the stuff comes in, we've crushed it, we put it in the fermenter. Up here up in the um, fermenter. We usually then clean up and go away and go home for the night. But the next morning, after it's soaked on the skins overnight, we'll sample the juice, we'll taste the juice, we'll see what the acid balance is like. I'm leaving uh, Santa Cruz and Felton, California now, and heading over to San Francisco for shows tonight at the Fading Salvage in Berkeley. and. Uh, Gonna see if I can't get some ice for my eye. And thanks for coming with me for this ride. If you like this, subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. Hit, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.